podcast. Today's video is going to be me preparing for my first clinical rotation. My first rotation is dermatology, surprise, surprise. Um, so I'm just trying to prepare myself. So I've just gone on Minerva. There is no pre-placement reading for special senses. I just feel like there's a lot of information. Even when I know what information is out there, it feels like I'm missing something. Maybe because it's not written down or it's not all in one place. So for dermatology, there is a lot of powerpoints or sorry there are a lot of powerpoints um obviously i'm not gonna be able to do that intro to dermatology i should probably have a read through that i wish there was like a summary okay there's so there are so many resources i just wish i went through this earlier it's kind of annoying because i just i don't know i constantly feel like i have no time and it's a bit pathetic if you ask me because i'm actually at uni to study and I'm acting like uni's the side activity that I can just... Do you know what I mean? I need to get a grip quickly, I think. Okay, do you know what I think I'm going to do? Print out the intro stuff. And then I'm going to print out history and examination. And then the rest, like the specifics about each of the different conditions. I'm going to leave because that, that's like the bulk of my studying, if that makes sense. So examination is what a page and a tiny bit. History is two pages. Basics is like four pages. And then objectives is a couple. Okay, so it's not even that bad. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm going to start getting myself ready. You have to wear scrubs. First of all, my scrubs are too small for me. They are way too tight and they're short as well. But there's actually nothing I can do. I emailed them midweek last week and nobody replied. So what am I meant to do? Um, I'm gonna wear this turtleneck underneath. Yeah, just because I always get cold, so I'm gonna wear that. This will become my dedicated turtleneck for placement. And then I've got this black scarf. I'm gonna pack another black scarf to wear because if you're wearing a scarf, then you have to make sure you bring a spare one in case it gets soiled. Obviously, you can't walk around with that one. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if the clothes that you wear on the way to placement have to be smart as well um i'm just gonna wear this dress because it's comfortable it's not gonna take up much space okay i'm gonna take this big bag scrubs spare scarves i need a mask like an actual surgical mask what i do headphones for the journey i'm gonna need my purse more headphones just in case take my normal mask just in case I'll add to this as and when I need. I need shoes. Let me get myself some trainers. Both of my pairs of shoes are downstairs, but um, I'm gonna pack them now because if I forget my trainers, I'll have to wear smart shoes all day with scrubs. First, legs dumb. Secondly, they're uncomfortable as hell. So I'm gonna go pack them right now. While I'm there, I will pack myself my food. Yeah, let me do that now. So I pack my food, I just need to add some stew on top, but I can't do that until the morning because it needs to defrost. Um, I've got my shoes, they're just sitting there waiting for me. I don't know what else there is to do, I feel like I'm overthinking it. I'm just gonna go to bed. Yeah, I'm gonna take my makeup off and go to sleep. I'm tired, man. I'm actually tired. It's in the morning. Morning, guys, so I'm up and ready. The time. It's 7.37. I have just over 10 minutes to pack my food. So get my stew, put some on my food. And I think I'll put a load of laundry in actually. I should probably actually get something to eat. Actually, yeah, forget it. I'm going to pack my food and get some breakfast on my normal. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's what I have to say. Hi guys, so I'm eating some chocolate for energy because I'm starving. And I feel collapsing. Okay. I'm finally back. I got back about 6.15. Um, I'm knackered because obviously I went to it at 4am. First thing I'm going to do, get changed out of my clothes and put out my stuff for tomorrow. I'm just going to get into a routine where when I come home, I just straight away prepare for the next day rather than wait and do it like before I go to bed. There's no point. I might as well just do it now. I need to put my scrubs in the machine so that I have them for Wednesday. And I'll wear my other ones tomorrow. So today I wore smart clothes just to play it safe because I wasn't 100% sure if we're allowed to wear like 
you know, normal clothes on the way there, even though we're changing to scrubs. And yeah, everyone was really chill, so I'm just gonna wear comfortable clothes tomorrow. I'm gonna wear these black trousers and trainers, but my trainers have to be different to the trainers that I wear on the ward, obviously, because infection control. Bro, I'm star I'm actually starving. Do you know what happened today? I arrived at that place at 8 30. I ate at about 12 slash 1 and I've now arrived back 6.42 and I haven't eaten again. I'm actually starving. Anyway, I'm about to go and cook and I'll pack myself some food then. Um, and then I'm all ready for tomorrow. No, I'm not all ready, but I mean my stuff is ready for tomorrow. After I cook and do some stuff that Dyer. it's not even... Shut up. After I do some stuff that I've got on my to-do list, I will do some work. Because uh, shut up. I'm not a liar. I'm going to do it. I have to do it because if I don't, I'm actually doomed. Anyway, yeah. Tell me why I'm on a what? <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I'm going to get on in trouble. Tell me why yesterday I was editing and I found this clip of her and she was like something like, "Oh, Nash is really smelly and all she does is fart in her room." <laughs> don't worry. I'm going to get her for that. Don't worry. So what I wanted to do is I had to create a thumbnail for a video and then finalise the video and release it. So I've done those. Now I can finally move on to my uni related stuff, even though it's 8.20 and I have not done many things. But you know what? We're going to take it one step at a time. So the first thing I need to do that I've got on my to-do list on my phone, I need to complete some e-learning. E-learning is quick, easy, so I'm just going to do that, get it out of the way. Yeah. That's it. The time is ten o'clock basically. I don't know why it's take it took me so long to do that e learning but I was literally falling asleep but um, I've completed it and now I'm doing some notes. I'm just gonna cover history taking and a little bit of examination. Um and I'm gonna do a couple of the conditions that I saw today um yeah i'm just not trying to do too much you know what i mean like i've got time it's not that deep i'm gonna have loads of free time tomorrow as well probably so like during while i'm there so there's no rush so yeah that's what i'm gonna do right now okay confirm patient's name and date of birth I took a break even though there was no need to take one and my to-do list is still extremely long but um, I think I've finished my notes for today. I was going to start making notes on melanomas but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do that tomorrow. Um, I made this document. Let me show you. These are my notes. So I've just done history and examination. That's it. So I was going to start skin cancers, but I can't be asked. I'll do it tomorrow. Secondly, the other thing I did was I just went to the study guide for um, dermatology and just got the objectives. So I'm going to print this off and basically make sure I've ticked everything off by the end of the rotation. By the end of this week, rather. I'm going to try and get some of these done tomorrow. Um, I'll have a chance to do these. Topical treatments. I don't know what's gonna happen. I've seen this to be fair. I don't know what's gonna happen because I'll obviously because of COVID and stuff. Um placement's just a bit discombobulated. Why is it yellow? It's really yellow, but there's nothing I can do right now. Yeah, because of COVID placement's really discombobulated and stuff. Um and I don't know what's going to happen. In fact, I actually need to email the coordinator to, to let her know, like, or to ask her really, like, what should we do? Because like, as much as it's, it would be easy to just not say anything and then just kind of get away with not really doing much, uh, at the end of the day, I'm doing myself, you know what I mean? So I'm going to email her. I'm going to go to bed soon because I can't go to bed at the time that I did yesterday. I would literally die which a bit but i actually can't sustain that again oh yeah and the final thing i need to do is select my choice for ethics lecture selection 
I don't know, but the deadline's Friday and I need to do it because otherwise I'm going to forget. So I'm going to send an email, print off my objectives and my attendance sheet and then select my choices before I go to bed. That's all. See you tomorrow. Right, hi guys. So I just got in. Basically, after you last saw me, I just did a couple of notes. Then I sat in. What they explained to me was that they have patients who are on studies testing, not testing, but it's a study to compare the efficacy of two different treatments for severe hand eczema. So obviously, it's a requirement for them to have a preliminary consultation talking about drugs and consent and all of that. Obviously, most of that was already done in a previous consultation, but this one was like a follow-up type of thing. And there were two different patients, so I sat in on that and that was really interesting. Um, but it was quite long. After that, I went and had my lunch. Then, we couldn't find anyone. There was nothing to do. So basically, two of the consultants that were meant to be like... I know at least one of them was meant to be like our clinical lead is off sick sorry they are off sick i'm not sure if it's actually covid related or they're self-isolating and then we met a doctor yesterday i think she's a registrar we met her yesterday and she had to has to self-isolate as well like from today because she had been in contact with one of those consultants or two of them so there was only one remaining consultant and obviously there's like three students so and he was like he was busy i didn't see him in the morning i saw him a bit in the afternoon but again his afternoon clinics were just telephone consultations, which is useless because firstly we can't hear on, on the other end what's happening on the other end. So we're essentially hearing a one-sided conversation. Secondly, it's not like we can take history or anything. Like as much as like before, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm just I've just got a grip a little bit. Because before it was like I was reluctant and a bit not shy, but like a bit to do histories and stuff with patients and that because it's a bit like you have to put yourself out there but now i'm just like can you just get a grip i just i just think i've got a grip that's that's the that's the answer so i actually want to do consultations and take histories and just be proactive and that's not even me trying to be like you know one of them students that are proper like buzzing and vibrating to do things like i'm not even not that that's a bad thing but that's like i'm just chill do you know what i mean but i actually wanted to do stuff so i was kind of like not gonna lie, if I can't take, if I can't speak to the patient and all that, what's the point? I might as well go home, um, because I can actually study and I've actually got stuff to do. Anyway, we ended up going upstairs. Well, me and another one of the other students, we ended up going upstairs and um, sitting in on like a systemics clinic, basically. So it's stuff like to do with the drugs, psoriasis, that kind of thing. Um, and again, that wasn't helpful because obviously it was over the phone because it was a telephone consultation as well, but at least because we were talking to the nurse and she was explaining stuff. And one of the things we do need to cross off is, um, uh, what's this thing called again now? Biologic treatments. So these, the MABs, infliximab and ritizumab and all of that. I don't know if those are real, I don't know. I may have just made those up. But those, um, so that is one thing we have crossed off. But after all, we just left because she was proper chill. It wasn't like we just left like, oh, we're going to go. It was literally, there's nothing to do. We don't have a clinical lead. We don't have anything. And I feel like, what's the point of emailing the coordinator or whatever? First of all, she's actually got other things to worry about. Secondly, we're actually in a pandemic. Like, can you get a grip? Thirdly, bro, as long as things are learn ah where's my fork i left my fork up placement guys um, anyway um i just feel like as long as things are learned like as long as we cover the things that are on our like objectives is it that deep really if we don't see some stuff and blah 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 because at the end of the day me being there, i've literally been there for two days and i feel like dermatology is just in my head like i feel like i know you know what i mean so as long as you know you get a good understanding and you've seen certain stuff 
you can take history and examination Ugh, does it, and you know the core conditions doesn't matter no it doesn't so yeah anyway so i'm home now time is 4 44 and i'm just emptying my bag and low-key like packing it a little bit from now so i'm about to go to town because i need to get some stuff i'm gonna wear a hat what hat should i wear should i wear a bucket hat today i feel, I feel like i'm being a bit dramatic but i, uh, I need to go out man and by that I, need, I mean i need to go out and enjoy myself i need some enjoyment i haven't had enough enjoyment in the last couple of days to sustain me i need to get cute and go on so where oh i could low key wear my skirt you know oh oh my gosh am i let me see let me put it on first before i spoke too soon guys this is such a look you wouldn't even believe it but i need to change my stuff but I'm actually, I don't understand how I actually do this every single day. Every day I just get up and oh, I actually can't. I'm actually getting emotional. <laughs> I can't. Imagine being this powerful. Can you imagine? Do I go with this scarf? Oh my God, an ash blonde again. I don't think, I've never seen anybody do blonde as good as I do. Imagine this is meant to be a... Preparing for dermatology placement, not preparing, just dermatology placement video, and here I am trying to do influencer. Anyway, you're gonna have to deal because that's just me. I just want to be me. All right. Do you know what? I'll just show you what I'm wearing later because I'm doing the most now. Hi guys. So this is what I'm wearing. Yeah. This this skirt with these trousers and that bag hi guys so um yeah yesterday i did some shopping did i really do that much shopping the only thing i hope you can't see my camera the only thing of note that i got was a coat from h&m anyway that's not relevant at all so yeah i came back did no work went to bed late again then i went in no i didn't go in in the morning actually what happened was i had to go to this basic life support session thing it was compulsory and then from there that was at a different site and then from there we went to placement and so this morning i was on surgery and i was just watching basically excisions for biopsies and that was it was just very in and out so like people would come in they would do the consent and making sure the forms are filled and making sure that the site of the biopsy is correct and stuff and then the surgeon, because he was work, working between two rooms, it was like a middle room for like staff and then two side rooms and he was like going between. So the surgeon would come in, do the checks, whatever. Then he'd do the anaesthetic and say, oh, this thing's a little bit, inject the, the area. so you would come in and then inject the area and it would numb in like literally seconds and you can see like it, it would be like more pale around where the injection's gone in and then he'll get the scalpel and literally cut the chunk out because there will be like an outline well not all of them had that to be fair but yeah so he would cut out the skin put it into the specimen pot um and then he would start to suture the suturing was really like cool I want to do it, but um, <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? Once he's done with that, he would leave and then the nurses would um, clean the wound, dress it um, and do like the whole, oh, if there's any signs of infection, contact your GP, you should get results within between six to eight weeks, all of that. And that was it. And it was like in and out, in and out, in and out quick. It literally to actually do the excision and um suture would take like less than five minutes so yeah that was i was gonna say that was interesting but it wasn't like after you've seen one it's basically the same so after that i had my lunch and then the lead nurse basically sat down with us and was like so's in it like covid there have been a lot of staff that are off there's not much they can do but they're gonna try um and then she arranged like teaching so in the afternoon we had patch test teaching which is basically um teaching on how they do patch tests to determine whether somebody's got an allergy to a substance that was very in-depth but it, i guess it was informative so that was fine after that we got to go home tomorrow i have my fit test for like the pp and stuff i have that at the at a different hospital and i've got the morning off 
and then I will go to placement in the afternoon. In the afternoon, I'm supposed to be doing, what day is it tomorrow? Thursday the 1st of October. Thank you. Yeah, so in the afternoon, the teaching we're doing is on cosmetic camouflage and phototherapy. Friday in the morning, I'm going to be in the surgery. Oh, what they're doing also is basically they're taking one of the nurses out and putting us in there. And we're basically going to be doing the nurses' role. We'll be with a trained nurse and the um, surgeon, but that's what we're going to be doing. So that my slot is Friday morning. And then in the afternoon on Friday, we're going to have teaching on immunosuppressants and biologic treatments. So that's going to be interesting. And then that's it. The dermatology rotation is over. So after I did some work at um, the other hospital, I left, went to the hospital I'm meant to be at, um, got changed into my scrubs and had my lunch. After lunch, we had a teaching session on cosmetic camouflage, which is basically makeup, but for um, covering up lesions and stuff like that and um, infections in the skin. Obviously, it's more, it's thicker and it's more long lasting, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, we had a teaching session on that. That lasted like 20 minutes. And then the nurse came and was like, the nurse that's in charge, the one that's um, supervising us, she came and she was just like, go home, go and study. So I'm home now. Um, I'm gonna eat because I'm really hungry. And I just don't really feel very well. So I'm just gonna relax. Well, not relax because I've got a lot to do, but just gonna be in bed and try and get some stuff done because I actually don't feel well like at all. But um, yeah, today's been, Kind of a waste of time really actually when you think about it because i was literally in terms of learning i've done 20 minutes worth yes i did spend those like hours doing my own notes when i was waiting to leave the hospital i was at to go to the, the, my hospital but i could have done that in my bed but yeah i'm gonna get changed now Hi guys, so it's Saturday today. Um, I didn't film yesterday because basically I got up. I was I got up late. I wasn't late though, but I got up late because I was just feeling like awful. And I got to placement and I just felt messed up. Like every time I stood up, everything was spinning. Like a really uncomfortable type as well. Not like normal room spinning, but I don't know. It was just horrible. I felt nauseous. I felt weak like my legs were shaky it was just awful so i said you know what no i'm going home mate so i spoke to the lead nurse she was like babe just go home um yeah so i went home and then when i got home i just slept i slept and then i ate um and then i felt better when i woke up but yeah so that's basically the that's the end of my week so next week i'm on ent i'm gonna try and go about it in a similar way that i did this week so make sure that i take my notebook and pen make notes as much as i can um be proactive ask to see things do procedures get my stuff signed off my dots signed off so for to, to conclude the rotation what i'm gonna do is i've just filmed my october plan with me and i have decided that i'm going to complete my dermatology notes over today and tomorrow and then tomorrow I'm going to do some questions for dermatology using that capsule app and then maybe some um, resources, any resources that I can find. Um, and once I've done that, it will just make me feel like, you know, I'm getting somewhere. But yeah, that's the end of dermatology. It's really short because basically dermatology, ENT, ophthalmology are all special senses. And special senses is one rotation. So those three all have a week each. And then we also have a week of SDR, which is self-directed learning. Um, that's the time to study, relax and stuff, yeah. So I have dermatology, I just finished. Then I have ENT, starting Monday the 5th of October. Then I have a week off for SDL, And then the following week I do ophthalmology. And then after that, I move on to the next rotation. I don't I, I don't know what my next rotation is. I need to find out. But that's it. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. If you are interested in these kind of videos, please let me know. Um, I thought it would be nice to film it. Like, even for myself, just to look back on. Like, oh my god, I was a third year. I just started. 
um, and now I'm wherever I am in life. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.